Good. Now let's kind of add into what is. Did you still remember what is the only uh, type of intelligence? What kind of programming structure we used? What is intelligence? You go to doctor. Doctor says that hey, do you have frequent cough or do you have do you have a high fever? It's IP statement. So basically, all the kind of only 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 form of intelligence is, is kind of composed of many if else statements. So let's say whether a patient has red, uh, red eyes or kind of yellow running nose or not. It's kind of like intelligence check whether a person is good or not. So here what I'm going to do, what was the value you had before? So in this case, what I'm going to do is I will check that if a person is within three inches, I kind of see that this person is on the on near the furniture. So now let's say that I kind of sensing that a person is between two inches or three inches. I want to activate LED and I want I kind of understand that, that this one has a or kind of display or visualization of a person is on and off, person is nearby. So what I'm writing down is, I'm going to write down if sensor value is higher than 350 and end is actually 2 n percent in Arduino and sensor value is lower than 400. Then I need a call. Then next, I wrap around this one with parentheses, just simply visualizing that this one is my conditionals. And then I'm using curly bracket, representing that this is the inside of if. Can you erase the four? Oh, oh, I will delete that. Oh, sorry, that. Uh, okay. uh, sorry. Uh, okay. Uh, yes, uh, this one. So I say that, I know, but for you, make sure that you change this value accordingly because your values are different from my values. And then what I'm going to do is if, and then the other one is called else, meaning that or other cases, this one has also a curly bracket. So if else statement is, do you still remember if else statement in Python? So what this means is if a value is between 350 and 400, it will do something here. What does the else mean? It's all other cases. So to understand if else statement, I strongly recommend for you to draw a graph. So a value we can receive is 0 to 1023 among them if the value is higher than 350 and lower than 400 this is where our if statement will be activated or other cases become else and else so always whenever you kind of specify your Intelligence, make sure that you draw graph and you understand what's going on here. And then when the value is within the range, what I'll do is I simply uh, digital write. I will do 13 high. You probably remember what it is. And or other cases, I write down a digital write 13 low. And what is missing here? Do you recognize it? There's something critical is not critical, but something missing. The yes, so I will yeah, correct. So what I will do is pin mode. I would say 13 as output. 
So what this will do, so what this will behave, if a person is nearby my sensor, it will turn the LED 13 on. And then, so LED 13 is already on your Arduino board. So if you run it, you will see. It had a problem with else. Oh, let me just double check. Okay, I'll just check, verify. It's, it's okay to me. What is Maybe it? you're missing a curly bracket. Curly you're bracket. missing your curly bracket. Yeah, you're missing a curly bracket. Yeah, you're missing a curly bracket. Yeah, Uh, one thing again, uh, so uh, programming, uh, Arduino program requires semicolon at the end of each line. One exception is curly bracket. So because there's a curly bracket stating that, hey, this is the inside of the structure, there's no curly bracket. So either make sure that every line, either at the end of each line, you have semicolon or curly bracket. So make sure that you have those. And if I upload it. So you see that based on the distance. Uh, because uh, just my electric kind of shot. So there's a kind of orange light here, and then this one is on only when this value by hand is nearby three and four inches. Hmm. To check more precisely, just turn on your serial monitor, and value is coming, and you know, if value is higher than this, you probably see that orange light is on. So check your sensors to whether your sensor is behave as you designed. Thirteen is actually uh, the one on your board, the orange one on your board.
So that's a good throw in. Pretty good is 800, huh? Is it possible a value is higher than 800? So actually, the, here's probably this one. You probably have an issue that uh, this system, the intelligence is a little bit. Uh, there is a kind of delayed response. Uh, what are you looking for? Today only the actual motor I will give you is bigger one, the proper one. So, right. just, uh, um, so don't worry, uh, you have a good one. <laughs> Everyone is just for today's exercise. Okay. Uh, as you see here, it has a three pins. Color selection is not so great, so I give you three different three different colors. motor has also three pins and servo motor so the dark brown is actually ground 
And orange is actually plus. Uh, the, the dark orange, is it red? Red. Yeah, red is actually, two, mine is actually almost just dark orange. So red or dark orange is plus, goes to 5 volt. And then the orange one is actually goes to your signal. But this case, this is not a sensor. Can you guess where this signal goes to? 13. Why? Because LED. Yeah, but actually, do you remember the something special numbers with kind of wave mark? What kind of numbers have wave marks in front of them? Analog? Yes. So this one more is not simply on and off. This one you kind of switch it from angle to angle. So that's why you, the signal goes to actually uh, analog. So use either, okay, for me, I just use number 11. So how to connect it? Uh, Take, yeah, take out the sensor. Oh, actually, let's do it this way. Do we uh, need a little breadboard? Uh, actually, yeah, yes, you need five. it, but I don't have it now. So, okay, what do you have to do? Um, connect your 5 volt from the sensor, reconnect it to 3.3 volt. Okay, so here's the sensor. Was that the breadboard? Red. Yeah, we, uh, I, yeah, the breadboard is all I have to order. But actually, this semester, I don't want to use breadboard. Rather, actually, I want you to use PCB board. Because breadboard is always kind of easily disconnected. So this one, actually, I, for next week's project, everybody needs to use bread, this, this PCB board instead of breadboard. Because then, actually, you can actually uh, bolt it to your structure using this one. Breadboard, you can do. You can just use double-sided tape, but breadboard is very unstable. So this is not for any embedded system. Breadboard is just testing, not real application. So in real application, we are going to use this PCB board. Uh, real application is actually not using this kind of perforated PCB board. It's we design the PCB board, but that one is a little bit too much for you, so I will not cover it. Uh, Real hardcore person, if you're interested, email me. I will teach you how to CNC meal in the circuit. I'm done with it. Okay, so here's what I do. From the sensor, uh, red goes to 3.3 volt. Uh, black goes to ground. And yellow goes to A0. For your motor, uh, Probably a uh, red goes to five volt. Uh, ground goes to ground. There are two ground pin, and then the other one I'm going to use pin eleven. So ground goes to ground and then yellow goes to 5 volt and yellow goes to pin 11 okay so but uh, I will okay just save your file for now uh, so this one is actually I just save it as uh, proximity Sensor. Oh. Okay, so is this safe? I'll open example. Uh, there's a sobo, and then I will open sweep. So please open examples sobo and sweep. Can you see it? Yes, I will, just, I will open the switch on the sobo. Okay. Uh -huh. <gasps>